Hey gang, welcome back to my channel. And today we will be doing either chapter six or seven, because last episode someone said I messed up and said six instead of five. So I don't know what chapter we're on, but we're gonna find out. And this is gonna be the whatever part to the My Bad Boys series that I'm doing here on my channel. If you guys haven't subscribed and you don't know me, hello, I'm Yana. And you should subscribe today because I told you to and you better for I punch you in the face. If you're also new here to my channel, I do a series here from the episode game app and I'm doing this story, well this series, My Bad Boys, featuring me and you know, three guy friends and I'm just trying to really figure them out because I really don't know them at this point. Go ahead and hit the notification button to get notified every time that I upload a episode chapter. This story is like 33 and it's gonna take us a while to finish it but we're gonna get there but we gonna get there one day so go ahead and hit the notification button to get notified every time that i upload one of these go ahead and follow me on my social medias down in the description box as always go follow me on ig hit me up on twitter and snapchat because those are the sites i am on and platforms i'm on when i'm not on this one honestly and truly and without further ado let's get into the next chapter oh so i'm reading chapter six okay right Okay, so this is chapter six. Just cleared that up because I confused myself. I don't know what I'm doing. Forgive me. This is chapter six of My Bad Boys Lego. I am excited. My character. What the hell are you doing here? Who is it? It's Hunter. What is he doing in my room? What? I was getting stalked. By who? Savannah. So she's your girlfriend? What? How could you ask Amy out if you're already dating? Hunter Wolf, that's so... Oh my God, chill out, woman. I'm not dating Savannah or Amy. Oh, why is she stalking you? And why are you here then? She's obsessed with me. She knows where Ryder lives and Bear's place isn't even an option considering he's a runaway and living with Ryder. She would think of coming here. Get out. What? Did you not hear a word I just said? I heard. And? And get out. Oh, come on, we're best friends, Lou. Already here to our first decision. Should I be a good friend and let him stay, or should we kick him out? Honestly, I would say Hunt's a rioter for your girl, so you know what? I'm gonna let him stay tonight. Fine, you can stay the night. Oh, thank you. Love you, Lou. I beg your pardon? As a best friend, obviously. Oh, right. Here's a blanket and some pillows. I'm bugging on the floor, aren't I? Yep. Yeah, boo, what you thought? You was finna get a full bed, a full room. We ain't rich neither. What is you? <laughs> Yeet. I guess he went home early. The morning went how it usually went. Right card gave me a ride again. But something extremely odd happened. Bear was holding on to Emily's curvy waist. I wish I had a curvy waist or just a curvy something. Mood. That's a mood. <laughs> That's a mood. I'm as thin as a stick. We can tell you ain't got no booty. But this is Bear Hughes, the Bear Hughes who told me that he doesn't do girlfriends. Then I looked over at Hunter and Amy and they were holding hands and giving each other the googly eyes. Oh, They're trying to do some freaking things. Lastly, I looked at Ryder and Tammy. They were arm in arm while she was whispering things into his ear. Yeah, probably telling him how she gonna give him the neck. Hi. Prince says you're a lifesaver. I am? Without you, I wouldn't have met my little fairy here. Little fairy? Yeah, thanks for setting this up, Lou. Amy's so smart. You know it, babe. Babe? Can you get a ride home today? Right car's picking me up, why? I'm taking Tammy out. Oh, okay. Dang, they done stole my dogs, bruh. They done stole my friends. I got no friends, now I'm just lonely again you know still nerdy still looking like a roach these army of skanks hanging with us in school after school and even on our movie nights babe we got class let's go then she should have known that was gonna happen first of all why are you such a pussy that you couldn't just tell them i'm dating right card now you don't now you ain't got no friends no more what friends they're gone they're boyfriends they're taken and you were sitting here looking like a big toe come on righty Right, yeah. <laughs> that ain't sound right neither. See you later, Luella. Wow, he's gonna walk up with the hooker. Wow, it's wild. Come on, little Barry. In her head, he's so sexy. And then there was one. 
Two, actually. Oh wow, my bully that hit me is trying to be my friend. Fantastic, this is a great day. Great start. What do you want? Follow me. Um, if I, I'm following, I'm stupid. I'm just as stupid as I appear. So the dude that punched me in public, that hit me, I'm following him. To where, hell? Cause that's where he's going, but I'm not trying to go with the boy, so I don't know, like. Am I stupid or stupid? Like, my character, let's pray for her, y'all. Maybe that brings some sense into her head. There's only one reason why Maxwell wants me to the back of the school. Yep, and he hits me. Why would you follow him? She don't piss me off, and now you don't got your ass beat by a boy again. I don't even bother to defend myself. This has happened one too many times. I guess I'm used to the pain. First of all, he a pussy ass. Sorry, I'm trying to be kid friendly. He a, there's so many words I want to use. He is a punk, a bitch, to be hitting on a girl. This is for Reichardt fucking Sims. Wow. I knew Reichardt hitting Maxwell was a bad idea. No one's ever stuck up for me because he's always hit me behind the school with Tommy and Anthony. And first of all, he, and both of them are P words too. What type of friends do you got that's gonna sit there and allow you to hit a girl and be okay with it? Like, your friends ain't squat, you ain't squat. This whole, this whole thing is ridiculous. Like, these days and times, Sue, hello, lawyer. And I'm gonna get somebody to get your behind. Like, you gonna get got by me, real talk. Cause that, <laughs> you don't even breathe. First of all, you don't even live to the next day. Cause I'll make sure I got my shooters to come find ya. No one even knows. Not like anyone would care anyway. And this is for the fucking trio. What what has the trio got to do with this? I was in so much pain, my little body couldn't handle it. I couldn't even get my words out without having trouble breathing. I'm in agony. Don't act like you don't know, bitch. But I really don't. At the Red Cross little stunt, they saw me in the streets that night and gave me a busted lip and a broken nose. Not forgetting the big, ugly black eyes. They did that? Who else would it be, bitch? They promised me. They try to defend you and she talk about some. They promised me that you need to get some. I'm sick of this character looking. I don't want to fight her. How much of no balls can you have to let a boy your age hit up on you? Allow two of the boys to watch that happen. And then be mad at the trio that defended you and beat his ass again after Maxwell did. Are we missing something here? Are we missing a point? Like, I'm, I'm riled up. Like, I'm dead. Should I be angry or upset? First of all, I'm gonna be angry with his ass. I should beat his ass. I wish that was an option, hell. Ass kick. I'm gonna be angry. Maxwell's finally done kicking me in the stomach. He would never hit my face except from the other day. Because he doesn't want people to get suspicious and he has a reputation to hold. He went off to play football practice and I stayed here. I sat myself down in a curled ball against the hard brick wall. I may not know many things about friends, especially best friends, but I do know they don't lie to you. I'm confused. Did I think of them more than they ever thought of me? Possibly? Maybe? Definitely. It was time for lunch and I avoided the trio as they was sat at the usual table, except they had three skanks with them. So I go back to my usual lunch spot, the toilets. I've avoided the trio all day. They try to gain my attention, but I either make out I can't hear them or just walk to the opposite direction. I'm not one for confrontation. I'd rather ignore the situation than face it. So you'd rather get beat up, abused. Wow. Is everything okay? Are you going to ignore us on purpose? What's up, Buttercup? Okay, baby. I'm willing to forgive you, so I'll give you a second chance. A second chance? Yes. Get out of my face before I blow yours off. Ooh. I knew they was faking it. I knew it. I knew it. I'm trying to figure out why they're faking it though. Like it can't be for my sake because I don't like them either, so. Oh wait, no, she wasn't part of the trio, damn it. Touchy, touchy. Not today, Lexi. Jeez, who pissed in your cornflakes? I said not today. And you seem to forget that I'm your best friend, not just one of your men. Hunter, I've been looking for you for a week. We're not a thing, Savannah. What? I will personally take pleasure in punching you in the face if you don't stop stalking me. Okay then. Hey, Bear. Would you rather die from my bare hands or my little friend Bat? Okay, they are very vicious gang members, damn. What is up with these boys today? A hunter and bear don't want to play with me. Same with Ryder. Ryder's always the same though. He always looks so 
unreadable. You can't tell if he's happy, sad, or mad. You slept with him, right? Right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, obviously. Haven't you? Yeah, of course. Why did you run out of the room crying? Um, he threatened you to not tell anyone, right? Right. Wait, did he do the same thing to you? Yep. So what did he do? Low tan. You almost gave us a heart attack for my dashing good looks. No. So come on, tell me why writers make makes the girls cry. Low tan. Yeah, boss. Get over here. Dang, he real nosy in females business. Why don't you go find some other boys to play with instead of being in our business, nosy? What do you think is wrong with her? I don't know. Last night things were pretty normal. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Last night? Yeah, Sav was stalking me. And? And I had no other choice, so I, rang so I rang over to lose. So you stayed over? Yeah. That's against the rules. What rules? No sleepovers with princess. I saw on the floor. Shut up before I kill you. You don't have the guts. Wanna bet? I don't need to. Oh, that's right, little rich boy. You're jealous. I'm jealous of your dad who's getting the pleasure to kill you. And you're just because Luella prefers me than you. No, she doesn't. Wow, must have been serious. I'm a popular, hot, delectable item. Ow. And who's this Luella? I met her. She's a cocky little nerd. Too much mouth on her. She only introduced herself. Hate her. I, I dare you to say that again. I didn't know they could hear me. Well, dumb. You said it out loud, dummy. Three weeks later, keep your eyes closed. Hold up. What tropical island is we at, boo? What vacation can we afford? <laughs> they are. You know you could have just took my glasses off. Wouldn't be any different. Very funny. Keep walking. Oh, stop. Have we arrived? Open your pretty bright eyes. Oh, my God. You like it? Try to be cliche. Or should I love it? Let's be cliche. Let's be corny. Boy brings girls to a waterfall. I didn't realize how much big, how much of a big cliche you are. Fine, let's go home then. No, I didn't say I didn't like it. There's nothing wrong with a little hint of cliche. I was joking. Oh, look at me and my boo How's school? The worst. Oh, come on, the bullying has calmed down a bit. Can't be that bad. And you're amazing in every class. Actually, Luella, what's wrong? The bullying has come back. Why? I don't know. Lie. Why haven't you told the principal or your parents? My parents think I'm as popular as Ashley and Tyrone. I wouldn't want to disappoint them, especially the fact that they were the popular ones back in the day. Besides, what could the principal do other than make it worse? I may be a nerd, but I'm not a grass. I may be a nerd, but I'm not a grass. Don't you mean snitch? It's not being a grass. It's getting help and making it stop. Hey, I've bullied for a few years now. I mean, a few names don't hurt like they used to. That's not the only reason you're upset, am I right? Not at all, I'm fine, I've got you, haven't I? Cute, but I know you too, mu too well, little legs. As much as you hate to say it, you miss them, don't you? Them? Don't play dumb, you're a nerd, remember? Hey, you said it first. I just don't understand why they've gone behind my back. Plus, they don't seem bothered. They've got a new company now. Don't seem bothered. Your phone is constantly going off and they're always waiting at your workplace and your house. I need a restraining order against them. Or you could just talk to them. I'm having such a good time, please don't ruin it. Girl, these are the only friends you've ever had. Please fix it. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. Don't worry about it, I'm a klutz. Well, we have that in common. Hey mom, can we get a box of Twinkies? Lou? <laughs> he goes grocery shopping with his mom and he's a thug. I'm sorry, this is kind of funny. Great. Hunter definitely takes after his mom. He's a spitting image of her. You can tell she likes to look at herself. Polished peach fingernails and clear skin. She's so pretty. You two know each other? Yeah, she's my best friend. He still thinks of me as a best friend? Well, in that case, best friend Lou, would you like to come over to our place for dinner tonight? Well, I... Oh, honey, you can't refuse. I'm making lasagna. I can't say no to lasagna. And... This author spelled lasagna hella wrong. And plus, this is rude. Great, see you tonight. See you tonight, Miss Wolf. Oh, please, that makes me sound so old. Just call me Afton. Afton? What a rare, beautiful name. Damn, you wanna date the mom? Hell, yeah. all compliments. 
See you tonight, Lou. Yeah. I'm still mad and upset with him. This dinner is gonna be so awkward. But I bet his mama know everything. What do you think a writer does that makes the girls cry? And what do you think of Rikard and Luella being a couple? They left us on a cliffhang up. So basically, I got my butt beat again. The trio is faking or head over heels with the three hoes of the school. Me and Rikard are doing well and fine. Thank you for asking. And now we're gonna have dinner with Hunter and his mom. Even though I haven't talked to the trio in weeks. So this episode was a little bit everywhere. We had some abuse. We had some love. The the two thoughts in the gang, Savannah and whatever her name is, Sophie, Josie. Um, Hunter makes them, not Hunter, Ryder makes them cry. So now I'm trying to figure out why Hunter, Ryder is making the girls cry. Like, I'm confused. Um, yeah, it's just a lot of tea, a lot of figuring out, a lot of I don't know. Like, I'm just as confused and wanting to know what's the next person. So, if you guys got this far in the video, make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you guys want to see more of these episodes, go ahead and leave it down in the comments. Get this video to 100 likes and I'll release the seventh chapter to this series, My Bad Boys. Also, while you're at it, since you're subscribing, you might as well hit that notification button to get notified every time I release an episode. I mean, only makes sense. Probably why you're here anyway. So yeah, go do that and follow me on my socials in the description box as always. Make sure you go ahead and follow me on my IG and Twitter to stay communicated with me and updated when I'm not on this platform. And I will see you, my gang, in another video.